water clean, not only for this exhibit, but for your water at home. We hope you enjoy these stories. Watch Over Our Water by Lisa Bullard. Hi, I'm Trina. I'm working to be an earth saver. So today, I made an earth map. The earth has so much water. I almost ran out of blue marker. I guess I better think about water if I'm going to save the earth. Dad agrees water is really important. He says that more than half of a human body is made of water. Do you think that means we have fish swimming around inside? Plants, animals, and people need water to live. And people use water for more than just drinking. We use it to grow food. We use it to get clean. If you think about it, water is even more important than root beer. Almost all of the Earth's water is salty ocean. Yuck, drinking too much of that would make us sick. The Earth doesn't really have a lot of drinkable water, so we can't waste it. My teacher says even kids can conserve water. Conserve means to not waste it. She says taking a fast shower uses less water than taking a bath. But I have a better idea. I'll just stay dirty. Lots of wasted water goes down the toilet. So my family has a special rule when we're at home. We say, if it's pee, let it be. Don't think of it as gross. It's saving Earth's water. One last flush at a time. My dog Daisy creates another problem. Her toilet's outside. I don't want her dog do washing into the water underground, so I clean up after Daisy. Saving the earth can be a smelly job. Litter often gets washed into lakes and rivers. This also makes the water dirty. Make sure you put your trash where it belongs. Otherwise, I might end up drinking it. Maybe you could help me conserve water and keep it clean. Then I can find another way to save the earth tomorrow. All the Way to the Ocean by Joel Harper. Every day, Isaac and his best friend James ride their skateboards home from school. Should we hang out at your house or mine? asked Isaac. Let's go to my house. My mom went shopping and bought lots of good food, said James. Want a piece of candy? Sure, said James. Hey, what are you doing? asked Isaac. Did you just drop your wrapper into the storm drain? Yeah, what's the big deal? asked James. It's a big deal because these drains go all the way to the ocean, just like the sign says. What do you think happens when our trash ends up in the ocean? asked Isaac. I don't know. What? asked James. The plants and animals get really sick. That's what. Look at all the trash that's already in there, cried Isaac. Plastic bags, broken glass, bottle caps, plastic soda can holders, and now your candy wrapper. There's even an old shoe down there. And guess what? As soon as it rains, all that trash goes straight to the ocean. How do you know, asked James. Cause I read about it. Are you sure that stuff goes all the way to the ocean? Asked James. I'm positive, said Isaac. Let's ask my mom when we get home. She's super smart. Hey mom, do the storm drains around town go all the way to the ocean? They sure do, she replied. I told you, said Isaac. Why do you ask, honey? Isaac jumped in and said, because James threw trash in the storm drain on the way home from school. He didn't know that they drain all the way to the ocean. Isaac's right about the storm drains, said James's mother. Just think about all the harmful things that could happen when our trash ends up in the ocean. All kinds of marine life are getting sick and their homes are being polluted. Sometimes they even get stuck in our garbage. Do all storm drains go to the ocean, asked James. Yes, they do, said his mother. That's why it's important to remember not to throw trash on the ground. 
because when it rains, harmful pollutants like foam cups, fast food wrappers, motor oil, and even pet waste wash into storm drains and run down to lakes, rivers, and empty into the ocean. Pollution sure causes a lot of problems. Why do people litter so much? That's a good question. Maybe some people aren't aware of the harmful effects. Or maybe they think the ocean is so big that it has room for our trash. Sadly, that's not true. The ocean has more life in it than any other ecosystem, and we need to take care of it. Hey, Isaac, you know all those gutters by school, said James. Yeah, I always see trash in them. Let's ask our teacher if our class can pick up trash around the school so it doesn't end up in storm drains. Good idea. Maybe the whole school can pitch in. James and Isaac's teacher thought a schoolyard cleanup was a great idea. After their classmates learned about storm drains, they wanted to help clean up the environment. Many of the students even picked up garbage around their own neighborhoods. What are some of the things you and your friends and family can do in your community to help prevent storm drain pollution? Thank you for joining us for another story time with the Children's Museum of Cleveland. And thank you to the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District for keeping our water clean. Until next time!